Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, I wanted to discuss more news of finance professionals receiving an increase in pay. There's news that employees at BlackRock are going to get a pay increase of 8%. And this is reported out of Business Insider. And this 8% bump in pay is a way to reward its workforce. And BlackRock has also said that they're still going to go through the normal salary process of giving people raises every year. So this is like just an additional payment. And discussing this in regards to what we talked about earlier this week about investment banks and particularly Goldman Sachs weighing whether or not to increase their salary while other banks have already increased salary for their employees because there's a lot of money floating around and there's a lot of competition because... And the main reason there's competition is because the there's so much money in the system and the economy's coming back and people are trying to take advantage of everything that's happening as people get back out in the economy. There's more mergers and acquisitions. If you don't have enough pl- employees to work on any of these things, then you're going to miss out on revenue. But if you're stuck waiting the standard time period, which is just a year, I mean, which is as long as a year, to reward people, then they're going to leave in the meantime, because if you can get 20, 30, 40% additional somewhere else, because they need the people right now, because they want to make the revenue this year, then they're going to do that. And so, and, but also like, that's the other thing too, if you don't do it now and the economy tanks because for whatever reason, for another round of COVID for inflation, then you're going to miss out. So I think that's why we're seeing this happen across the board. Plus, a lot of places decreased salary or kept it steady during COVID because they were afraid. And so this is good news for everybody, every professional, um, especially in accounting and just finance in general. A lot of people interested in working in the big four accounting firms are trying to be consultants or something else because they wanted to be an investment banker. So this is good news and it's just important for people to take advantage of this time period. Uh, this this year is a good year to have good performance. But if if things tail off, then I mean, it's obviously you should uh, you should try a little less harder because the time to be to try hard would have been. Um, I mean, any time the economy is doing well, you should be trying as hard as possible because those are when you're going to make the biggest gains, as I've said in the past. So this is just another new story of the finance professional and just professional services. Cause that's what, that's what I would say BlackRock is, even though they're investment in finance, but still I would consider them a pro- professional service, um, especially for people in the big four that focus on M and A, they can easily transition to one of these companies. And a lot of people start out in the big four accounting firms, hoping to transition into finance. So this is why it's relevant to them as well. And I also wanted to talk about, uh, reflect back on something else I spoke about earlier in the week about um, fraud in the big four accounting firms, speaking about problems at KPMG and ENY and talking about cash and how whenever these big lawsuits happen or issues with companies going under, they always come after the big four accounting firms. And I mean, th- there's a reason why they do that, why regulators and shareholders come after the big four. It's because they're one of these professional firms that people rely on. Um, somehow people don't read the news and don't realize that they screw up all the time. But another thing I was thinking about was people need to go after the big four accounting firms less. Uh, I mean, they obviously go after the big four accounting firms because they have deep pockets. But people should really, and that shareholders in the government, should go after the banks. And they should go after their the government itself and central banks. And this is one of people's reasons why they think about crypto, because... If you had an open blockchain where people could see, then companies would be easier to audit and citizens and just decentralized people um, that are 
on the blockchain could see what's happening to companies' money. But I think there, there's, I think that's a reason why a lot of people don't like crypto, a lot of these governments and central banks, because there would be transparency. And I think if, if you really wanted to solve the problem of banks, of not, not banks, of large companies going under, then you would have more transparency. The big four accounting firms would have more access to their clients' bank accounts, would get notified of large transactions. But that's obviously the point of an audit is because these large corporations don't want people to look at their day-to-day -day finances. They don't want their day-to-day -day finances getting leaked or hacked because we know the big four accounting firms get hacked all the time because they do have access to sensitive information. So I think it's the big four accounting firms, large companies, and governments are all, you know, they all cover for each other to some extent. So that's something to keep in mind as people push for these additional regulations, because there's the way to solve this, if you're going to put everything on the big four accounting firms and the big four accounting firms want to solve it, is they need constant access and notifications to their clients' bank information and who the approved vendors are. And, and obviously, th there's still ways to collude even then, because you can have, and it happens all the time, where you have approved vendors and the vendor is associated with somebody that works for the company, and the person that it's associated with has, uh, they've camouflaged that either by having it be a close friend, a close associate. There's just so many ways to get around this. You're never going to solve this, but that would be one of the ways of, of looking at it. And this, this way you would have to, this is something that could be done year round by the audit team is just them constantly monitoring the client's bank account and and you could also use technology to do this, right? Because you could have technology mine the data, collect the data, and you would still fail. You'd still have fraud. you still have companies that fail. But if you had access to this information, then you could use it to learn and to, to find this corruption and fraud in the future. And I know people think, like, all this is already in the ledger, and, you know, they get bank confirmations, but... A ledger is easy to manipulate. There's obviously easy, you can book transactions, you can, you know, reverse transactions, you can book a ton of transactions to fool people. Um, bank confirmations can be, you know, f uh, forged, especially if they come from the client, it should come from the bank, but there could even be a collusion with the bankers. I mean, as you see, there's no real way to solve this, but there is, there are ways to have more transparency and there are things that big four accounting firms could do to decrease their risk and push back on regulators. I don't think the big four accounting firms do it strongly enough. They do do it behind the scenes. It's obvious that they lobby them, but I, I think they could be more forthright and, and push it back on them and asking for more access to clients' financials. But there's, there's many reasons why they wouldn't want that to happen. But those are my thoughts on fraud in the big four accounting firms and what they can do to push back. Because I think it's ridiculous that people come after the big four accounting firms. A lot of the times, they're one of the first people they come after. And, and it really should be the bank uh, and central banks, especially as there's taxpayer money around the world floating around through these central banks, and which are pseudo-governmental entities. The people should have more insight and access and demand that in order to understand how these companies are, are fleecing investors and taxpayers as well. So that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast, stay up to date and support us financially through the buy me a coffee link in the show notes if you can. And if you can't make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, big four accounting firms. Thanks for listening.